We are continuing to track that tropical storm there off the coast of California. I uh, want to bring in now the Los Angeles County Sheriff, Robert G. Luna. He was there uh, at the latest press conference with the governor of California, as well as all those other officials over in the Los Angeles County area. Thanks so much for joining us, Sheriff. Uh, you're very welcome. I uh, Sorry it took us a while to get connected, but there's a lot going on here on our side of the, uh, the country. I can only imagine, Sheriff, and our thoughts certainly with you as well as the rest of uh, the residents there in Southern California. I've got so many there in L.A. County. want to jump into uh, really what's kind of the latest on the ground there over in uh, L.A. County. Are you receiving any evacuation warnings? Are there any um, outstanding issues now as a result of incoming water? So we're in the middle of this storm. Uh, it's been raining uh, most of the day. Uh, the bulk or the heavy part of this tropical storm, uh, we should see in the next several hours uh, from what the forecasters say. Uh, but uh, as you know, in this kind of work, uh, as soon as uh, we were made aware that this was going to occur, uh, the men and women that work for our department are amazing. Uh, they they plan for these kind of things. They prepare for these kind of things, and and but let me stress when I say these kind of things, uh, we're used to earthquakes. Which by the way, we had one earlier today, a 5.1 uh, here uh, locally. Uh, we prepare. We have fires. It's fire season. Uh, hurricanes is not something that we're used to in our neck of the woods. And although it, this is not a hurricane anymore, it's a tropical storm. Uh, we, in advance, uh, uh, activated our emergency operations center for the county, our department operations center for the department, where we uh, have been uh, coordinating uh, uh, and communicating with all of not only the county uh, departments, but the city departments and every department regionally, and then making sure that we're communicating with our community. Now, sir, what's the strongest message that you have right now for residents as uh, there's a likelihood of um, potential mudslides, uh, potential flooding uh, really across the L.A. County uh, and further south? Yeah, everything you just talked about from rain uh, to tornadoes uh, to wind, high surf, uh, swells, mudslides, flooding, it's all possible. Uh, what we've been telling our residents is, number one, uh, we are here. We are prepared uh, for uh, for them uh, to make sure they're paying attention to uh, forecast uh, that that they are prepared. We do a pretty good job in this county of consistently sending messages to our community, uh, whether it is for earthquakes or fires and everything else about uh, preparing an emergency plan for your family. Uh, so uh, we have done that. Um, but we're trying to find a balanced message. We want people to be prepared, but we don't want people to panic. We don't want people to overreact. Uh, so, for example, uh, many of our residents are going to our local fire stations to retrieve sandbags, uh, which we encourage. Um, a lot of people have gone out to get extra water and things of that nature. Uh, but as you're showing some of the videos, uh, uh, we in California don't get rain all the time. So we have to remind our folks uh, to be very cautious when they're out driving. Uh, number one, avoid driving if you can at all. But if you need to go out, slow way down and don't drive over open water uh, because we don't want to add to the rescues that we may have to affect. Absolutely. People get out there. Sometimes they want to just see it because, uh, like you said, it's just not very common uh, in SoCal, especially this time of year in August to be getting extreme uh, rain events like this or any uh, large amounts of water during the month of August. It just typically does not happen there. Um, but I've been in, I lived in California for seven years up in Northern California, where it gets quite a bit wetter and um, as soon as it rains, I, I, I kind of know the drill. You just have to expect that there's going to be crashes, that there's going to be uh, incidents, just because folks really aren't used to that type of uh, event happening, on a, and especially on a regular basis. And so uh, I know I was listening in on that press conference uh, with uh, that, that your, your organization, as well as a number of uh, organizations in L.A. County put out, and we've been playing that on our broadcast throughout the last few hours here as we, as we monitor this. 
this, and I know uh, you know one of the things that was mentioned is asking folks in SoCal, just don't go out over the course of what, the next 12 to 24 hours as the storm comes in? That's correct. Uh, if you can avoid at all going out, uh, and that's why days ahead of time, uh, we were telling people, if you need to go shop, you need to go buy water, uh, anything that you need, do it now. Uh, we tried to estimate the best time uh, or, or at least to be specific about when the storm was going to come in. And we were we were pretty accurate, uh, although initially the National Weather Service uh, stated to us that the rain, the heavy rain wouldn't come in till late Sunday night. It did start a little bit early. Uh, but as I've driven around to different locations, I've seen a lot less traffic uh, out on the streets. Um, I've heard about some collisions out there, uh, but I think uh, we'll we'll get the stats later on. Uh, I do want to go back to one of your earlier questions about evacuations, uh, because um, uh, yesterday uh, we did issue uh, an, e an evacuation advisal to the island of Catalina. Uh, because uh, we are trying to predict the best that we could. Uh, and based on the information from the LA County uh, Fire Chief, uh, our uh, Director of Emergency Management, uh, the fact that we thought that Catalina would take more of a direct hit. And not only that, but we were also advised that Southern California Edison, that their plant would be heavily impacted and uh, the electricity uh, could go out, or if it got bad, they would uh, uh, de-energize the plant. That was of great concern to us. So we started out with baby steps. Uh, we gave an evacuation advisal uh, on the 19th. Uh, we upgraded that to a um, evacuation warning uh, as of this morning. Uh, we did evacuate what we estimate to be about a thousand people off the island. Uh, we estimate that there is approximately anywhere between 3,000 and 3,500 people approximately that ended up sheltering in place. We never made it a mandated uh, uh, evacuation, and we worked with uh, the local officials there. We worked with a company called Catalina Express. They were very helpful uh, in evacuating uh, members of the community, and again, We'll assess uh, uh, what we did well, what we didn't do well, uh, and assess the damage uh, that occurs overnight. And then those at that time, we'll start making decisions about uh, 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 populating the island again uh, during our uh, uh, demobilization. How long have you been in the LA area? And do you ever remember a time of Catalina being evacuated? I've been in LA County my entire life. Uh, I'm not gonna give up my secrets. I'm gonna say well over 50 years. Uh, but uh, from that perspective, um, uh, I do at one point, I, I wanna say back in 2007, 2008, there was a significant fire uh, on Catalina Island where we had to figure out a way uh, to evacuate the island and at the same time get as much fire equipment um, uh, onto the island. Uh, so uh, that hasn't happened recently, but there, 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 it has been done before. And we are taking a live look right there over at Catalina Island. That's the uh, kind of the latest image there, uh, that little rotunda there. There's a nice spot where you can go snorkeling, usually when there's not a lot of uh, the storms like this there. Uh, so uh, good to hear a number of people. You said over a thousand people have since been evacuated off of Catalina. Yeah, we estimated the numbers to be roughly at approximately a thousand that we evacuated evacuated over the last two days. Wow, and this just speaks really volumes to just the magnitude of this storm. Something that's not completely unprecedented, but. Uh, certainly something that we haven't seen in the last 80 years. Um, Sheriff, uh, we've heard about at least one death in Baja California, Mexico. Um, as the storm approaches and, and you hear that uh, life has already been lost, what is the continued message then for folks uh, across the state, uh, the southern part of the state now that uh, may be affected as Hillary comes in? That this storm is no joke. Uh, I, I've heard about the, the loss of life. Uh, it's sad. 
Uh, I pray that no lives will be lost here uh, in Los Angeles County or anywhere, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, but this is why, uh, uh, whether it was law enforcement, uh, our partners over at the fire service, emergency management folks, really the entire local government have really been pushing the message out. Uh, for example, don't go get in the water, don't get by the water. Uh, um, we have uh, an extensive unhoused population here uh, in this area. Uh, there's uh, many people who live across or in the areas of our flood controls. And for those of you who are not familiar with Southern California, a lot of our rivers are man-made. They're concrete rivers. So when the, the water starts flowing, uh, it, is, it, it is significant. Uh, it moves quickly. So we spent several days going out and uh, warning uh, uh, the most vulnerable people that we have out there to get away from the rivers. Uh, our uh, homeless outreach teams that are very effective in this area have relationships with a lot of uh, these community members. They go out, contact them, and then try and find them shelter if they're so inclined, uh, offering them services. And we're able to, I believe, save the lives of many people. Uh, by our deputies going out, being engaged with uh, our county homeless services folks and uh, getting them to a safe place until this uh, tropical storm gets uh, uh, past us. Absolutely. I know you're talking about the many canals uh, really throughout the city of Los Angeles during the summertime, often a bit of a safe haven for people who are unhoused. Uh, there, but when those storms come in, the water uh, can surprisingly move in very fast, and really anybody there, and especially with all their belongings uh, potentially in tents, it just can lead to a absolutely catastrophic uh, situation. And I did see some of the stories that our Fox 11 teams put together over there in the Los Angeles area about the work your teams are doing. Um, obviously, there are some people who may have refused to leave the, the area immediately. Uh, we are hoping that uh, they are choosing to uh, get out uh, before any significant water comes in. Yeah, I agree. And it sounds like uh, we've been successful so far, but uh, this is a fluid situation. Uh, I'm here at the Emergency Operations Center uh, working with true professionals, and uh, we're keeping our finger on the pulse. Uh, with our other county partners. Uh, this is a very large county, uh, and it's uh, very, uh, the, the geography uh, is very diverse here, from uh, mountains to desert uh, to uh, beaches and oceans and the basin. So we can have all kinds of problems, uh, and we're out there. We're in response mode, and uh, we'll see what happens in the next 12 hours. But again, I want to urge the public, uh, if you don't need to go out, don't go out, uh, stay uh, in tune with your local, uh, however you receive your news, get the forecast. Uh, tomorrow morning is Monday. A lot of people are going to try and head out to work. Uh, those are evaluations you have to make on your own. Look at traffic conditions. Uh, and if for some reason you can't go out, uh, give your boss a call and say, hey, um, uh, this may not work today. At the press conference, as you probably heard, uh, the superintendent of the Long Beach, I'm sorry, the Los Angeles Unified School District uh, canceled school uh, for the, the kids. Uh, so that'll help keep people off the roads tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll continuously e evaluate and reevaluate what we're doing, our resources. Uh, but our number one goal is uh, make sure that we prevent from anybody getting hurt. And, and hopefully we don't get any extensive property damage. Absolutely. It's going to be a store. It's going to be a long night for folks over there in L.A. County and the south part of the Golden State there. But Sheriff Robert Luna, we appreciate you uh, coming on the show to discuss really all things Tropical Storm her, her, uh, Hillary as uh, we continue our coverage here on Live Now from Fox. Is there anything we haven't asked you, anything you'd like to add? No, I just, you know, I really want to thank, uh, uh, first of all, you for putting me on the program, uh, bringing uh, attention to this. Uh, but uh, if I could take a second just to thank uh, all the men and women who are out there uh, working their tails off, uh, putting themselves at harm's risk, 
uh, the men and women who put on this uniform are completely committed to our community. Uh, and I just want to make sure folks know that. And that's one of the reasons we don't want people to put themselves in a dangerous position. We will do everything we can to rescue people. But every time we are, uh, we're taking a risk with our employees as well. Uh, so please think about that before you decide to uh, get too close to uh, one of these raging uh, rivers or too close to the ocean to look at the big waves coming in. Um, and I just uh, pray that everybody stays safe and we get through this together uh, and lessons learned. And then we go on to the next one. Absolutely. Have, make sure everybody stays away from, from moving water and continues to heed those warnings as so many on the ground in California prepping for this storm. We know Governor Gavin Newsom said about 7,500 state officials are deployed throughout the south part of the state to help. And that also uh, is on top of all the police and other emergency responders just gearing up for whatever Hillary brings. Sheriff Robert Luna, the sheriff of Los Angeles County, California, we appreciate you joining the show here on Live Now from Fox.